Hey guys, Hassan here, engineer, MBA, and ultimately an investor. And in today's video, guys, I want to talk about the idea of valuating companies, assets, or similar investments. And before we do that, guys, please like this video. Please subscribe. You guys know how the YouTube algorithms work. We want to raise the awareness of this channel so that we can promote our technologies uh, to many, many people, to all investors around the world, and even to the average citizen that may be looking at these videos and may gain a value or two for uh, their investments portfolio and maybe for their future. So as long as we can help someone, uh, why not? So really beautiful day here. I actually went to Ikea to buy some items and it got me thinking, right, and about lumber prices. And in Canada specifically, lumber prices have reached all-time highs, right? This commodity has reached all-time high prices. Now, why has it reached all-time highs? Well, because the utility has grown very, very high for this uh, commodity, right? A lot of people want lumber, they're doing renovations, they're building new things at home, their businesses are renovating, businesses that have been closed because of the pandemic are using this opportunity to renovate their office space and so on. So, and there's obviously other reasons as well, like many countries have been wanting our lumber, obviously that we're exporting it at a great, great price. So at first you may think, well, the utility has increased, that's why we're valuing it higher. Now, let's contrast that with some of our videos, some of the investments that we've spoken about. Dogecoin, all right, Dogecoin cryptocurrency started out as a joke, but now it's literally worth as much as like a company like Boeing. Right, so Boeing is a huge company, right? A huge corporation that delivers many, many aircrafts and has many, many products and services to not just US, but around the world. Yet Dogecoin is basically a meme coin where on social media platform, Dogecoin is basically referred as a joke and people make fun with it and on it, right? So why is Dogecoin then worth as much as, Do as, much as Boeing, right? Why is Bitcoin worth as much as it is? Why are genomics companies not worth more? And the reality of the things is that it's the people and the markets that decide. What you and me and many other people decide a certain item price is, that's what the value of it will be. Even if the utility is much more than compared to another asset class item, right? Crypto, for example, Bitcoin is worth much more than many, many companies, right? It's actually like if you put all the S&P 500 companies together, I think it's like top five. I think it's because it's worth over a trillion, right? There's only like, I think Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, and Google that's worth more than Bitcoin right now. Yet, I think we all agree that from all these companies compared to Bitcoin, all these companies utility-wise, they provide much, much more in terms of, um, in terms of utility, right? They provide services, products uh, to many, many people around the world, to billions of people around the world indeed. So. Why does Bitcoin is worth this much? And it really boils down to what we, the people decide, right? And I think as investors, you gotta be aware of that. So when you have emerging technologies, usually you'll see it. And what the traditional way of looking at things is to look at how, what's the utility of that tool, of that product, or even that company or that asset. And if you go by that in, uh, philosophy, you will miss out on many, many investments, right? Because Ultimately, many of these technologies, whether that's in genomics, a lot of it is really driven by how people and institutions really value it by looking at how, how important and how valuable it is in a future price, right? So you look at some of these products, like in genomics, none of these companies in gene editing have any sort of products with Cas9, CRISPR technology, yet they're valued CRISPR Therapeutics value as of today, I think it's seven or $8 billion. Um, and Telia is worth $5 billion. You have Beam Therapeutics are worth well over $5 billion as well. So this is what I want to leave you guys off with in today's video is that when you look at companies, when you look at investments, when you look at your portfolio, you want to make sure that you incorporate the, the idea that you're not looking at these investments with the traditional way of looking at it. What the prices are for these assets, these companies, really depends on what you and I and many other people have decided. Basically, it really boils down to letting the people decide what the valuation is, right? As much as it sounds like you're 
giving it uh, maybe a misrepresentation because like I said, Dogecoin is worth just as much as Boeing. In the same token, you can make the argument that Dogecoin has provided much more value than Boeing in the sense where people are communicating with it. It is rallying people together. It is opening up discussions that were never had before. It is opening up to these quote unquote meme coins discussions. It is opening up to the potentially uh, to potentially going from a joke coin to an actual currency, virtual currency that many, many celebrities and billionaires like uh, Elon Musk are supporting. So or Mark Cuban, right? So keep that in mind, guys. Hopefully this value, this video gave you some value. If you did, please, 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 please like this video, guys. Really, really does help the channel. You guys know the drift. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comment and we'll see each other in the next video. Thank you very much. Have a great, great, great weekend. Thank you.